In this step, we're going to walk through creating an application engine program and using a component interface to update specific data within the application engine program. This example is very simple, but it applies to any component interface being used within application engine. You can ad add additional functions around it if you wanted to, let's say, bring in uh, information from a file, you can use the uh, file uh, layout and import uh, information into your app engine uh, state records from a particular file layout and then manipulate the data and then insert it using your component interface. But for our example, we're going to be very basic here and we're just going to create uh, two steps uh, or three steps actually. Um, the first step is going to be as we indicated in our um, example, the uh, a do select. So we're going to go ahead and insert an action and we're going to choose do select and then we're going to view the actual SQL for this do select from our example and then close that step. Next we'll create a uh, another action choose people code okay the first thing you need to do before you get your component interface code in is insert the definition into project and when you do that uh, you can get your component interface over into your project so it shows up in your uh, project window that's the easiest way to do it then you just um, then you want to go to your people code and op open that up just double click that and then you just just drag it just drag it and drop it and it creates the code all the code that's necessary inside uh, your people code window. Okay, once we have dragged our people code or our component interface over to the people code window and it creates all this code, we're going to need to make some changes here. First, we need to determine whether or not we're just going to get specific information through the component interface or we're going to create uh, a new row of data. Um, that is determined here. Uh, by default, it's set to get particular information. So you see the uh, session being created here. You also see that we're actually getting the user profile component interface and getting a handle to it here. And it's determining whether or not uh, it, it was successful and will throw an exception. Um, then you have a couple of properties here. Um, we talked about properties earlier. These are just either true or false. Uh, these are the standard properties. Interactive mode, get history items, edit history items, um, depending on if you want your component interface to do that. Next is where you set the actual key and you notice the uh, bracket, um, the asterisk surrounded by brackets, which means we need to change this. So if we wanted to actually get a particular user ID um, from the user po profile component, we need to uh, key in what that is. And you can either hard code um, or you can grab the you can grab the uh, an object. For example, the do select we we can get from there and put in the percent bind um, if you want to use that. And this will actually uh, go out and get the row of data from the component uh, interface um, for that particular user ID. Uh, and then if you look below, uh, let's assume that we wanted to actually create a an ID and then add data to it, we would simply uh, ram all this out here and then um, take all this code out from uh, being commented out because now what we want to do is we want to go out and create a new row of data with th this as the key and then if we scroll down we get to see the actual properties for the component interface now these are all of the properties on the right hand side of your component interface view that you saw that are exposed. So we see all that information here in our component interface view. Uh, 
Now that is where all this code comes from. Every single property is commented out, so you need to determine which one you want to actually change. Um, if we want to, we simply rem out what we're going to create, um, because really all we have is a row in the buffer, in the component buffer here. And so if I want to create a user with PS Career, I would uncomment and put that in. And if I wanted to create uh, a actual description of the user uh, name, I would count, uncomment that and put that in. I'm using literals, but you can. This could be uh, data that is pulled in from a file that you've read in. Um, but for our purposes, it's pretty basic. And you just continue on setting the actual properties for uh, each of the fields listed here. Um, I'm not going to go through each one of that because it's pretty intuitive, uh, self-explanatory. Um, then the next area uh, goes through and sets the email address, which is another. Now this is a collection. Um, if we looked at our actual properties, you'll see we have a set of collections here. Uh, one being uh, email address, add ID types, and roles. And so those are also created for you automatically when you drag over the uh, component interface into people code. So now we have our collection, and we can go through and update the collection uh, as well, um, looping through and putting in any email addresses that you want to put in. You can put one or more because it's a scroll, and that's what a collection is. And then we see the next collection, which is ID type, and then the next collection, which is the um, uh, I, well here are the ID types themselves, and then the next set collection, which are the actual roles associated with this user profile. Again, each property of the collection is commented out. So if you want to set it, you need to comment, uncomment it, put your value or your variable that you read in and update those sections. Followed by that is another collection route controls. And then lastly, at the bottom of your code, you'll see uh, various particular um, save method, a cancel method. Uh, and so you're going to want to uh, uncomment this if you're, want, if you're creating one and you want to save it. And what that will then entail uh, is going through and looping through our do select, grabbing data, using our component interface and updating that data and that will trigger all of the exact business rules as if you were online in the security user profiles and entering in data.